My name is Joel Richter. I'm a professor of molecular medicine at the University of Massachusetts Medical School. So the Centers for Collaborative Research are NIH-funded centers that will fund collaborations among laboratories to investigate both the underlying molecular basis of the Fragile X syndrome as well as clinical aspects of the syndrome. Our center, together, are going to investigate the underlying molecular basis of Fragile X, focusing on um, mRNA translational control. The syndrome arises when a single gene is inactivated, and that indirectly causes protein synthesis to be uh, elevated or excessive in the brain, and that causes the syndrome. And what we want to investigate is how that excessive protein synthesis comes about and how rebalancing protein synthesis can rescue or revert the syndrome, at least in mice, so that the animals no longer have the Fragile X syndrome. It's very, very, very common. About one in 4,000 uh, males have this syndrome. One in five or 6,000 females have the syndrome. Now, the syndrome is caused by the inactivation of a single gene called FMR1. Uh, and this is the most prevalent inherited cause of mental insufficiency. Uh, and it's also a major form, um, and it lies on the autism spectrum disorder. The most severely affected have um, um, low IQs as low as 40. They have. Um, they can have seizures, they can have hand flapping, uh, anxiety, uh, developmental delays. What we have been able to show, at least in mouse models of the syndrome, is that we can reverse or rescue uh, the Fragile X syndrome and now restore nearly normal behavior and certain biochemical uh, abnormalities in mice. And so now we want to investigate how that works and will this eventually be applicable to humans with the syndrome.